Cecilia is there with you this morning, there with people who lost their homes or came within seconds of losing them. Many still waiting to find out this morning, Cecilia. Robin, they are. Good morning to you. You can see just how thick this air is with smoke out here. This home still smoldering. We believe that this was the garage. Take a look. Here's a washing machine here. Just in this block alone, three homes destroyed. And as you say, so many people still unable to return. Overnight, the unsettling return. It's just devastation. It's irreplaceable. Escondido resident Jack Whitling getting his first look at the home that's been in his family for nearly half a century. And you walked in, that's the living room. And if you went straight past the chimney, you go to the kitchen and the family room. As the flames inched closer, he tried desperately to save it. It was covered with smoke. You couldn't hardly see, you couldn't breathe. It was too late. It just jumped straight in and couldn't do nothing. Everybody made it out safe. Now, all that remains are the memories. That's something that can't be replaced. It's horrendous. In San Marcos, another home, like many, on the brink of disaster. The heat and the smoke was so intense. Hundreds of degrees just blowing past you, and I was 30 feet from it. I've never felt such heat. This cell phone video capturing firefighters frantically trying to halt the blaze just inches from this homeowner's yard. We had three minutes to grab stuff and get out. That was it. Fortunately, his home was spared. This is the sheriff's department. This is a mandatory evacuation. Veronica Navarro and her mother, now evacuated, watched as homes across the street from there shot up in flames. The fire was actually really close. Like I could feel the heat actually rub against my skin. Like it was really hot. Many residents now left to wait and wonder. We're sitting here waiting to see what happens, if we're going to be able to go back and see if the house has got destroyed or not. Yeah, these fires have caused at least $20 million in damages and as Ginger said earlier, forced more than 125,000 people into evacuations. Robin, the, the hope is that today with these cooler temperatures, a lot of these folks will be able to return to their homes.